Hey there, this is Justin Stone Diaz, and this is today's um, video blog entry for my 28 day challenge. Um, yeah, this is day 27 of the challenge. <clears throat> yeah, the um, biggest thing I've been coming to terms with is um, my willingness and um, I mean, setting a regular practice is difficult for anyone, and I'm having difficulty because, um, as the practice gets more regular, um, I want to spend more time, so what began is, you know, taking, you know, 15, 20 minutes out of day in the beginning of the challenge now entails about an hour's worth of work, um, but if you do the math, an hour out of 24 hour days, uh, 24 hours a day, it's, um, it's not really a big investment. Um, so I'm just being, um, belly aching by complaining, but it's coming up. Um, and I know, um, through experience that if I talk about things, somehow that process of verbalizing it and communicating it and getting it out there somehow does something for me. Um, I've experienced it in some of the spiritual things I've worked with. Um, a lot of traditions um, place a lot of value on the confession. Um, and this is true for me in a lot of other ways. So um, by talking about my laziness and my inability to want to set time aside for myself because this definitely benefits me more than it benefits anybody else. Um, yeah, my friend Jacob was asking me about how the meditation was going and it um, reminded me of when I used to add, ask my dad how work was. Uh, my dad worked a lot of crappy jobs when I was younger and like any kid when he got home I wanted to know about his day, and so I'd always ask him, so, Dad, how was work? And he always um, pointed out that the word work had in it um, the answer that I was looking for. Um, he didn't enjoy work, and it was work, and he wanted me to understand that work was work, and that wasn't enjoyable, and that being asked about whether or not, or how work was, it's the same. And for practice, I'm finding that um, exchange I had with my father growing up now coming to um, my mind. Because when Jacob asked me um, how the meditation's going, and it's um, practice, you know, it's um, starting over every day and yeah, trying to remain humble during the process. And a lot of this is, um, I place a lot of dramatics into how I look at things and picking back up my spiritual practice um, makes me remember the commitments I've made and the intentions I've set that I may or may not have followed through on. Um, yeah, my um, Tibetan teacher, Anam Tupton, um, has this teaching where he talks about spirituality and um, spiritual spiritual people wanting spirituality to be something comforting like a warm blanket or like a, like a teddy bear and um, he'll go on and on about people looking for these spiritual teddy bears um, that are nice and comforting and reassuring and remind us of all the things of our childhood um, but we forget that it's a teddy bear and bears are wild animals and so he always has this great little twist in this teaching where he's talking about people looking for the spiritual teddy bears not realizing um, that it's a little bear and that spirituality like work is not always something comfortable and easy um, so the pointing instructions when Sharon um, expands on um, wishing ease to yourself and to others. Uh, may you live with ease. Uh, may I live with, live with ease. Um, 
is definitely helpful in that situation because I'm finding that picking back up these spiritual practices that um, it's not easy work and I know this and I just need to be gentle on myself and get back on the mat as much as possible. Um, yeah, there's only one more post left in this series and I, from what I can tell there's about six or seven of you watching these videos. Um, each video gets about 12 likes and I'm assuming a couple of those are me and family members um, checking it out. I'm really curious to know who keeps on thumbing down these videos. Um, I guess I should take the um, advice that Nena Thurman once gave me about um, negativity and reacting to um, negative criticism that at least you're um, having an impact um, whether or not that person who's thumbing down my videos are getting something from this or not um, I'm still reaching them in one way or another um, yeah I hope these videos have been helpful and um, there'll be one more um, so reach out to me. Um, we're getting ready to close this out, um, and I want to connect with people before it's over. So see you on the mat, and um, see you online.